like that. Boom, 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 just like that. Eight, 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 productions, just like that. Like, comment, subscribe, just like that. Boom, wait a minute, just like that. Hey, Dub, you ready? Wait a minute. All right, guys, diving straight into the video because this week we had a little mishaps for those of you guys who've been keeping track on Instagram and on um, YouTube stories. My computer crashed, so we missed out on a lot of content. So uh, this weekend, instead of taking the weekend off, we are going into overdrive. All right, you see right here we have an Air Max shoe loaded up. It is, and edit, uh, matter of fact, let me go back and move this up a little bit because we're probably gonna put try to put two sneakers on here, we'll see. But 37 minutes stitch out, 13 minutes for the red, I'm gonna make this red, 11 minutes for the chrome, I'm gonna make that white, 12 minutes for the deep gray, I'm gonna make that black, and another chrome, one minute. All right, 37 minutes. We already have our red and um, loaded up into the Brother SE600 sewing and embroidery machine, guys. All right, so we're just gonna hit start and let it start embroidering. Here we go. As the SE600 starts to embroider the first part of the design, I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit and let you know, get you guys up to speed with what happened and why I didn't upload any content and why I was kinda MIA. Guys, um, for the longest, the speaker on the MacBook Pro that I, uh, my previous MacBook Pro, um, was blown, right? The speaker was blown. Just stop it right here. I'm gonna stop the design real fast because I don't wanna embroider over top of this. This is what you guys are gonna do. This design, by the way, is available on alanaway.com. Go ahead, head on over to alanaway.com and purchase this design. It's a really sick design, really cool. And um, yeah, so, the speaker on my MacBook Pro was blown, so when I would edit or listen to videos, it would sound distorted. It would sound distorted and um, it was annoying, right? It was annoying to listen to, so I saw that this was a common issue in the MacBook Pro and they, they sold MacBook Pro speakers on Amazon, so I decided to try to change it out myself. And that was a bad idea. I think I told the story already on a previous video, but it's okay. I'll just give a brief, you know, overview of what happened. I basically tried to change the speaker myself. Didn't work out so well. Um, broke my MacBook Pro, ended up having to buy another one. And when I got the other one, I forgot that I needed a part to um, for the flash drive to read because the new MacBook Pros don't have the right don't have a full USB on the side. So it was a, just a headache and that had me mentally defeated all week last week. So um, yeah, we gotta force ourselves to get over this. And when this stuff happens, we just gotta keep on pushing. And then I start, I got into a slump with videos where every time I tried to do something, it wouldn't quite turn out right. And now, yesterday I tried to do a sublimation video and I realized the MacBook Pro, I can't load up Sawgrass print manager on this specific MacBook Pro. Um, I have to use it, my PC now to do my um, sublimation printing. So yeah, <laughs> it's a mess guys, but I'm not gonna quit because when you guys do this stuff, I don't want you guys to quit. And I can't quit right now because this is what I do now. And this is what I asked to do, this is what I, um, tried so hard to get to and I'm at the point where you know where I, I'm where I wanted to be and now that I'm here I don't want to you know lose all the momentum that I that I've worked so hard to get so yeah I'm gonna let a little bit of the stitch out guys um, as you guys can see the red is stitching out wonderfully everything is lining up I tried to put this design on a jacket before it didn't work out so well so I figured it needed a full video for the design that is on the website so you guys can see that it does in fact stitch out good. And this is gonna be that video, follow along video. So let this part stitch out, then we're gonna switch. We're gonna put in white thread and then we're gonna put in black thread, then we're gonna put back in white thread and we're gonna be done the design. So I'm gonna let this part stitch out right there. If you haven't done so already, give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, guys. Got a lot more coming up. We're gonna try to do all the sneakers that I have on the site this weekend, all right? Probably gonna do four videos today. We'll see how this works out.
If you haven't done so already, please hit that like button. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you. As you see it, this part of the design is almost done. Um, as soon as it's done, we are going to change threads. Really, really simple process. I'm gonna show you the simplest way to do it. Yes, I said it, I'm gonna show you the simplest way to change threads. Arguably, the simplest way to change threads. I still think it's the simplest way. And I say that because somebody in the comments a few videos ago suggested that you tie the existing thread to the top of this thread and pull it through. And I, and I think that that's um, extremely like, that's more difficult and it defeats the purpose of trying to save the thread, if you know what I'm saying. So like, look, this is what I do. Up, swipe. By raising this foot right here, it releases the tension on the thread so that when I pull the thread through the machine this way, which you're not supposed to do, it does not damage the machine because the tension on the thread is released. All the gears, all the internal stuff that otherwise would damage the machine if you pull the thread through backwards are released so it's not damaging the machine. That was fast versus cutting the thread from up top, tying this white thread to another tiny little thin thread. That's gonna take you about three minutes just to tie these two pieces of threads together because you know, tying two small pieces of thread, threads together, they don't wanna cooperate, right? Because it's, it's just tough to do. And yeah, I'm done already. I'm ready to just press the button and start over, you know? 11 minutes, let's start over with the next, with the next part of design. You're still trying to tie two threads together. Bottom bobbin thread is almost empty. Great, okay. Technical difficulties, boom. Swipe, easy peasy. Undo that. All right. I always do this, all right, take that out. It says it's almost empty, but it still has plenty of thread on there. That's okay, we got another bobbin over here. Let me run and get it real fast off camera. You guys hold fast for me, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel once again if you haven't done so. I'm gonna grab two loaded bobbins because like I said, we're gonna be at this today, all right? I have not one, but two. If you haven't seen the video yet on how to wind your own bobbins, I have that video on this channel available for you guys to check out. So check out that video, it's really um, helpful and shows you how to wind your own bobbin so you don't have to buy pre-wound bobbins. You can do it yourself. Or maybe you can start your own pre-wound bobbin business. I don't know, I never thought about that. But there you go. All right, just like that, we're back in business, guys. All right, easy peasy. Easy peasy, nice and greasy. All right, and as you guys can see, that lines up perfectly, unlike when I tried to do it before on the denim jacket. It uh, didn't cooperate because the denim jacket was just shifting all around, so um, it was a bad idea. So guys, give this video a thumbs up once again, subscribe to the channel, and go head on over to alanaway.com. Buy yourself some of these designs. Help support your boy to pay for that brand new MacBook Pro that I had to buy. It was $3,700. Ouch. That's a tough hit to take when you didn't anticipate it. But then again, that's a lesson that I could have been avoided. Should have, you know, I should have never did that. I should have, like, you guys can comment in the comment section below, but it's not a good idea. It's just not a good idea to try to fix your own computer these days, right? Take it to the manufacturer. Take, I should have taken it to Apple. I should have took it to Apple and had them swap it out and it'll only cost me $125. $125 and I would have still had my Mac and we'd have never skipped a beat on the channel. But now I'm sacrificing my weekend to catch up, to play catch up, right? But it's okay because that's what we do. We learn from our mistakes. I, I, I tell you guys what happened. Um, I fumble in life a lot and you know, such is life. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. Thank you. See where we are at right now, guys. And already it's looking like something, right? Yeah, SE600 is killing it. You can technically leave this, leave this design like this and it'll be just fine because it's already a dope design just like this as is. 
without even finishing out the rest of it. But of course we're gonna finish out the rest of it. But right now, on this stop is when you're gonna wanna trim these pieces right here because you don't want it to embroider the black over top of it. It'll be harder to get to those little tiny small pieces. So let's make those trims real fast. I'm sure you guys exactly what to do. Take that out. And of course, let me show you. Let me show you something. You just trim right here. Make sure you don't cut what you need. Only cut what you don't need. So get that scissor right in there in the right part. And don't pull up any of that red thread. You gotta be really careful. All right, boom. Then get this one right here. All right. Comes with experience, guys. Don't don't do this home. Don't do not try. Absolutely, do not try to. Uh, actually, yeah, you definitely have to do this. <laughs> you definitely have to do this at home. So, yeah. All right. Clean cuts, as you guys can see. Clean cuts. Yep. I had to touch my micro fast. Make sure it was still there. Sorry, guys. All right. So boom. Put that back in. Load that up in the machine. And now we are going to. Switch threads, we're gonna put in a black thread. So we got our foot raised, pull that out. Once again, not damaging the machine. You guys see me do this in every single video, right? And I got a comment the other day saying, hey, you shouldn't pull out your thread like that, you're gonna damage your machine. But they're looking at like an older video and I'm like, dude, I've been doing this for like a year, two years, three years. It's been longer than that actually since I've been, and this is the same machine that I've been using. And as you guys can see, this machine has no um, issues embroidering anything. So, uh, yeah, I told that guy, I'm like, yo, only thing you gotta do is like raise the foot, dude. And like nothing, nothing gets damaged. But to each his own, you know, he's not telling me anything wrong. He's just telling me based off of what he knows. And he doesn't know. <laughs> All right, so now it's starting to embroider the outline gonna be a lot of jump stitches in this guys so just let this part embroider out let it all embroider out I got some great Keurig um, coffee hazelnut that I'm drinking right now it's delicious so I'm gonna drink some of this and we'll be right back guys gonna go for another little small break once again alanaway.com like comment subscribe to the channel yeah be right back Dub Productions wanted to show you guys I just stopped the machine this is we're just getting into this and I just stopped the machine real fast because I want to show you guys to stop the machine because it went from here to here and it's going to do a circle around here and I don't want this to embroider over because then it's going to be a little small part that you have to uh, cut out so it's best to just cut that jump stitch right now so you don't have to deal with um, trying to uh, get in between that small space after it embroiders out. All right, that's it. That's all I want to show you guys, all right? All right, uh, so now I am definitely going to, um, I'll be right back, yeah. A-Dub Productions. All right, here's another one. See that jump stitch right there? Again, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna stop the machine. I'm gonna cut this, all right? But this is one of those cases where you can actually honestly let everything stitch out because I have done I have done it like that before. This specific design, let everything stitch out and then cut that at the end, all those little parts at the end. But it's just easier to do it like this, guys. So that's what I recommend that you do, especially if you're new to embroidery, all right? And if you're new to embroidery, congratulations. You're gonna have boatloads of fun. This stuff can be really, really addictive with different designs, all right? Just wanted to show you guys how clean this thing looks. I mean, look at it. Looks super, super, super clean. This design is gonna become, it's gonna turn out awesome. You're gonna love it. So yeah, look at it. It's crazy, right? Looks good, right? Looks good, looks good like I think it should. Looks good, looks good like you wanna wear it on a sugar dip. <laughs> I mean, guys, look at this thing. Got to pause for a second because I'm going to think I'm going to use this shot right here as a thumbnail. That's a dope thumbnail, right? Yeah. All right. So this part is done. We got one minute left and this whole design is done. Then I don't know about you guys. I don't know what you're going to do over there. Look at this. 
for some reason that'll happen occasionally where it didn't disconnect that's just a thing that happens i don't know but um i don't know about you guys but uh i'm gonna move on to the next video after this is done and you guys if you don't mind can stand by and wait for the next video just put that thing on play and walk away if you don't want to see it or what you should really do is go grab the file and embroider along do something on a saturday while you watch coming to america on um on amazon because coming to america is on amazon and come back in the comments and let me know what you think about coming to america uh personally i think it was okay of course it's not as good as the original but i think they did a pretty okay job you know um you know i think they did an okay job i don't think it was great but i think it was okay that's all i can really say about that um i i enjoyed it i enjoyed it see the machine jumping a little bit that's because it doesn't like embroidering over big parts that's already been stitched out so every time it goes over a part that already has thread on it like right in here it's gonna cause the hoop to jump the reason being is because there's nothing on this side holding down the hoop right so if there was something on this side holding down the hoop it wouldn't jump as much but there's nothing on this side so it just flaps when it goes over areas where it's already been embroidered on but don't worry this design will come out fine all right i'm gonna let this part stitch out and then we'll talk about it after it is finished a dub productions all right guys we are all done with this file just press ok on the screen and swipe once to release it and let us look at what we have here out of the machine yeah looking good looking good looking good what do you guys think let me know what you guys think in the comments down below this file is available on alanaway.com right now for purchase um, you can embroider this onto cloth items, maybe a flat denim, something flat and denim. Make sure you hoop it properly. Definitely nothing that has seams. Very difficult to do. I tried it. Trust me. But um, overall, you see it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. We're going to move along to the next video. I encourage you guys to stay tuned to Adub Productions on a Saturday for more stuff. This is like a Saturday cartoon special except i'm not a cartoon yeah give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel see you guys on the next video in a few minutes peace turn up that crank it up while i listen to the rest when you're rocking with the best baby